Okay, obviously a huge week. Uh, two big road games against ranked opponents. Um, our rivalry game Saturday and uh, at San Diego State Tuesday. Um, guys are excited, uh, anxious to play again. Um, what I'm looking for is hopefully more balance this week. Uh, it seems like at times this year we've been very good offensively and not as good defensively, or very good defensively and not as good offensively. We've held our last two opponents under 40% shooting, and I thought we've played hard at the defensive end. Uh, I thought the second half against Air Force was maybe the best defense we've had. Um, our game goal was to keep them to 57 defensively. Our offensive goal was 63 or above, uh, which we did not make. But um, I do think uh, defensively we're starting to understand who we are and what we are. Uh, I think our changing defenses has helped, but I also think our uh, effort has been good. Um, this team has worked, and uh, I'm encouraged by uh, how hard uh, they're trying to get better and grow. Um, that's a good thing to see when you're coaching uh, a group of guys, to see them to be resilient, to work, to care, and um, you know, good things happen when you do that. So uh, they're excited for the week, and so am I. Any questions, I'll take. Well, I think you are what your record is. I do feel we have a good basketball team. Um, I like playing on the road. Our team likes playing on the road. And, um, you know, there's, there's both of these teams we're going to play this week. We've had stretches where we played very good basketball. Obviously, didn't win those games. So uh, we do have some confidence that we can go in and play well. And, um, you know, the statement to me is our preparation. You know, uh, our guys have prepared well, they're ready, and uh, they're focused. And that's, that's my job, to have this team prepare well, and uh, they're doing that. Not a big, big believer in the quick fix. I think it takes time. Uh, you know, we have to gain experience and maturity. Uh, those only happen with the passage of time. As a coach, you try to accelerate that. Um, and I'm doing the best job I can, I can do to do that. Our staff's working hard, and our guys are working hard. Um, this has been a very good team to coach, and um, if anything, uh, this team has taken the losses harder maybe than any group we've had, and uh, that's been a concern for me to keep them to understand why we lost and to move forward So uh, and keep them up because they, they really want to please. Uh, never mind around a group of guys that wants to please more than this group. Winning can cover things up. Uh, winning can justify actions. Uh, it can justify uh, maybe what we're trying to do, teach. But um, when you're playing against good teams, there's also a lot of things to teach. <laughs> so uh, we have a lot of things to teach. And uh, I've said that all year long. There's a lot of things to coach with this group of guys. We've got our two lead scorers who have never been through it. They've never been to San Diego State. They've never been to UNLV. They've never been to BYU as our leading scorers. Uh, we have five guys in our playing group who haven't experienced this league at this time of the year. So uh, my challenge is to try to explain them how it is and what we need to do without them having experienced it. And as we all know, with today's youth, uh, that can be difficult at times uh, for guys to really understand. And they don't fight me on it, but to really understand how hard you have to play, how every possession is important, how uh, you know maximum effort is really the foundation of everything, no matter what your game plan is, is your effort where it should be and your focus. And uh, a lot of things fall into that, you know, travel, fatigue, your opponent. But um, trying to coach our guys through that has, has been a challenge because we're new and inexperienced, but it's also been fun for me because uh, I have seen a lot of growth. I really have. I've been really cautious about their legs. And um, as you know, we're traveling today only, which is a first for me. <laughs> um, you know, I've never uh, really taken days off except the ones we have to. But I feel this, this team needs some mental rest and some physical rest. The travel's difficult. Again, guys have not been through it before. Uh, we will walk through and film like we always do.
But I think it's real important this week and, and as we go into the middle of February and March is to manage these guys maybe a little different than the teams we've had. Um, you know, I've been, you know, people have been critical of, of the way we practice and how much we practice and how long we practice and the intensity at which we go. And um, this is a team that I think I'll manage a little differently this last six weeks. Uh, it doesn't mean we won't work. doesn't mean we won't do the things we have to do. But, uh, again, five guys in the playing group have never been through it. Uh, that's a lot. I don't have a fearful team. You know, we have not been a fearful team um, or a team that I worry about us um, being scared. I, I almost think sometimes we try too hard. I think sometimes we are – so confident in our ability that we don't always trust, you know? And so, I, I, again, sometimes your greatest strength, your greatest weakness, you know? A Jiggy Watkins does not have a whole bunch of fear in his life, no matter who we're playing or where we're going. Will Clyburn is not built that way um, to have a whole bunch of fear. So, um, and I think that helps their resiliency. I also think, uh, Dirk, our culture is very good. Our culture right now on this team is very, very good. And, um, you know, I, I like that. You know, I like that part of it. Now, that doesn't absolve not winning or, you know, playing good basketball, but our culture is very good. Very good.